Uh, I'm gonna. I am gonna post some more testimonies. I I do not uh, have ever made it a rule uh, to have an ego where we've healed so many people and we they've made Fox News and some made ABC News a lot of newspaper coverage. We've never really, except when I went to Portugal, when we would represent the U.S. in these symposiums, would we have case studies. I just, we never had the, the manpower. We've always been a little on the poverty side as opposed to the rich side. So we never had the extra help. To, and we never, we were so busy, we just kept getting busier and busier. We just never had time to make case studies. So, you know, we don't have a lot of those. And we certainly didn't film people. We, we never had that. I've never had that kind of thing. I've always say, oh, I'm so glad you, have, you don't have cancer anymore. Thank you. Keep going next. Because that's our life. We, we're so busy, we don't have time. I'm not a medical doctor that makes a lot of money where I can have a big staff. And uh, you just take care of that. I don't have that. Never have that. So we, we're doing our best. We are going to start filming more and more. We got several coming in to film, but I'm a little a little embarrassed to ask them because I don't want the ego to come out there. Uh, and this, this is not the goal. The goal is to show you the power of healing, true healing. That used to be the name of my book, and they changed it to the Miracle Detox uh, Source Book, but it was called True Healing. And a uh, quite thick book, but uh, I had it in a three-ring binder, and that's what you got when you came to my school. But then they made me uh, not uh, have that. And so, uh, matter of fact, hang on, and I'll show you. Well, this is the color the ladies liked, but this was used to be my book, uh, True Healing, and this is this is what you got. It's now condensed in the form of the Miracle Detox Source Book. That's the publisher's idea, and it made me stop doing that one. Okay, but that's what we're doing. We're doing True Healing here, and. Um, and so, uh, keep it up, guys. I'm ranting, aren't I? Um, so, balance out if you have to. If you can't sleep, well, you <laughs> sometimes you have to balance out because some of you are going to enter into, and I said this in the earlier tape, uh, you're going to enter into some very high-level energies that most people have no clue about. And I've seen it in some of our advanced cases that pushed it all away, some of these cancer cases, and they came out like, wow! What is that? And that is health. That is vitality. I, I think the only person I've read that I thought really touched that was Arnold Larratt. I really think he touched that. And you can feel it in his books. I don't feel it from the natural hygienist. Been there, that spoke a lot. We had a fasting clinic down here, the Shangri-La and Bonita Springs. I visited it many, many times. Uh, leukemia, definitely the easier cancer. Any blood, can I use the word disorder, any blood condition uh, is so much easier to remedy than lymph issues. The lymph is a much thicker, much more difficult uh, issue to deal with. The blood is so much more easier to clean up and deal with. I have no, uh, that, that's for sure. Uh, Everything is curable, and, and I'm not going to use the word diseases. That makes me want to throw up. Wrong idea. Any damage occurred by the cells, by the acids of the body, can be rebuilt. That's kind of pretty good. I like that. So just remember that. Any damage to cells that have occurred from the acids of the body can be rebuilt. That's like interstitial lymphatic constipation. Yeah. Rosacea. You, we've already addressed this rosacea issue, but uh, uh, again, your skin, your largest eliminative organ. I was just talking to a medical doctor this morning here with Parkinson's. Uh, this guy it gets it. He knows what he's up against. He's really heading on down that line. And so this is what you got to get. You have to understand what your lymph system is. You have to understand this is your third kidney, that this, this redness is from acids. And uh, psoriasis, uh, eczema, all this is the lymph system. This is subcutaneous constipation. So you can use hot and cold compresses, scrub your skin, and you'll notice you'll get lymph if you pick. 
This is all lymph. These are all acids. So you really want to move your lymph. And this is tied to the bowel. So always clean up the GI tract. But rosacea, I see these things on TV for rosacea. Clean your lymph system up and all that goes away. Same thing for psoriasis, the same thing for eczema. The skin, third kidney, it needs systemic cleaning. It's an internal problem, not a topical problem. These dermatologists never get it. Clean internally and the external wrapping will look good. And if your wrinkles, you know your connective tissue is weak, your parathyroid's weak. Clean those acids out, strengthen that parathyroid, and your wrinkles will tone and tighten, and you will no longer have wrinkles. I think people watch TV too much. We watch the, uh, the medical association and their inability to cure anything, and, and we follow that, and, we, and suddenly we lose the idea that the body's an incredible regenerative organ. It regenerates itself. Well, then the next question is, what degenerates itself? And then, of course, you're going to go to chemistry. And, of course, there's only two sides to pick from. Uh, both of them doesn't tear us apart. And so then you start putting two and two together. I think that's pretty simple. So get that uh, rosacea is to get the lymph system. Get the lymph system is to get the kidneys and adrenals. And I'd also say you want to clean up your bowels here as well. You can clean your liver out a little bit, but that's not... Uh, not the big issue here. Uh, exercise, alkaline, uh, acid balance. Yeah, I mean fruits, 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 and berries, 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 and melons, melons, and melons. Get on that lymph fast. Get into the kidney formulas, the lymphatic formulas, the adrenal gland formulas, the bowel formulas, and you'll clean this up. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Canada, Ben, go for it, my friend. Dig deeper. If you're not getting it, you're not getting the lymph moving in those areas. That's the bottom line. And this is a chore. It's not like a snap of a finger, so you'll be okay. But dig deeper, man. If you're not getting this, dig deeper and get into those kidneys filtering. Remember, get a jar of pee in it. Your urine wants to be cloudy. Now you're moving lymph, but it's a long way from your kidneys up here to the head. So just give it time and work it out. You can use hot and cold compresses. Scrub the skin if you like. It'll give some relief. Ben from Canada, go forth, young man, and conquer. Uh, let me see here. I'm very excited. I'm moving a spit like forth in the urine, and I'm seeing mucus quality in my mouth. Woo! Go for it, Krista. You're kicking butt, honey. I guess I talk too much. I only got five minutes left. That's horrible. Uh, this is about, oh, this is a good one. I like this one. I like these good ones because some of these things we've covered, covered, covered. Uh, this is about a 15-year-old daughter that has a bunch of warts on her hands. So, you know, this lady's, uh, this poor girl's holding virals. And, uh, you know, I always consider them kind of a part of the fungal family, although they could be more of a viral thing. But in actuality, what were you going to do? I would suggest that you give her Parasite M for an extended period of time until they start falling off. And I would move her lymph system. I can tell you she's going to have weak adrenals there. So at 15 years old right now, in today's world, you got some weak adrenals. And she's sitting down relaxing. Check her blood pressure in both arms. See how low your daughter is, uh, especially uh, on about a week or so of uh, uh, fruits and vegetables to get those kidneys cleaned out a little bit. And then check her blood pressure and see how low she is. Uh, but... Um, you're going to have to use a parasitic formula with her for a while. Again, I would bring up her adrenal glands so she's metabolizing the sugars, keep her off of starch, more fruits and vegetables, and definitely no dairy products. Horrible, horrible, horrible. And really clean that out. Uh, dermatologist, uh, you might as well. Never mind. So uh, this cream. This dermatologist recommended this cream, uh, Karak or something, uh, she Googled it, and found it's used for skin cancers, and the side effects are horrible. You know, dear ones and dear medical doctors, drop pharmaceuticals and go to botanicals. You're going to fall in love. You're going to fall in love. Finally, you can give something to someone that's not going to hurt them. You can give something to someone that actually they're going to find remedy. You can actually cure them. That's got to be... I mean, some of these guys have got to feel like, man, I hate to do this, but here, try this cream. That's all I know. Well, learn. 
The botanical world doesn't offer these kind of symptoms like that. Horrible. But you want to stay, give your daughter parasite M for a while, go after her lymph system, go after her adrenals and kidneys, and she'll be fine. They'll fall off. Some maybe sooner than later. Um, could set her up if you don't for the future of having more serious issues here. Uh, Hashimoto's. We have covered that. So I'm not going to spend the time. We've got too many, Melissa. Too many to go here. Um, how long do we want? Wait before. Ah, oh, use the glandular straight away. Yep, straight away, man. Uh, you just want to get on them, sweetheart, and, uh, and pop that up there. Um, if you have a, a goiter, get rid of the goiter first, I'd suggest. Although you could bring up the thyroid with a glandular a little bit, but keep moving that lymph, clean up your uh, GI tract, and get those kidneys and adrenals moving. When the goiter's gone, then, then, then you can hit the thyroid a little harder. Uh, but you can still hit it a little bit with the goiter. I'm generally cautious that way because the more activity of a cell, the more waste the cell produces uh, when you're having a, a, a poor lip drainage. Now you have more acidosis being created in an environment where you can't remedy that quick. And that could create more problems. Tumors grow sometimes, uh, goiters get bigger. And so I learned just go after the lymph. And then all those uh, tumors and goiters come out. And then you're in good shape. And then you can pop up the thyroid if it's weaker. Go after the pituitary. Uh, thanks, May Freaky, for your comments. I love all you guys, Owen. All you guys are good. Samson, the man of the hour at the time. Uh, David, let me see here, my friend. Uh, we sort of got into an agreement on Facebook about what type of foods a person should eat. I saw that you went through this, uh, and I wrote this for you. Remember, uh, remember this, man. You're the awakened one in your group. And ride that with humility, and don't take offense. You're the awakened one. Be strong in what you know. You know truth. And when you know truth, it's a knowingness. There's no intellectual ideas and concepts to it. Truth is truth. And nature offers you the largest barometer. You can always use nature, which is the largest laboratory. The, this biosphere of planet Earth is obviously where the buck stops. No one can argue the supreme being uh, in the form of nature. Sorry, it's what's happening in nature. There's no other way. If a scientist does it, he's, he's lost touch. And therefore, his ego is accentuated. Because the lab is here, the lab is present, and we have to fit into this lab. And it all has to fit, and then that's where truth is. So, you're the awakened one, my dear man. And, uh, and be strong for that, and help, help, help these people with the best you can. Not everybody's going to listen. Some people are going to call you fat, <laughs> but you know the truth and hang tight. You'll work. Those that are ready to hear will have ears to hear. Now, where did I hear that before? But this is true. And so don't feel bad. Don't beat yourself up. Be the strong one. You're the awakened one, okay? And you'll be well, my friend. If you're too skinny, you're malabsorbed or pancreatic, and you got to fix those things. So the problem is, is a lot of people don't understand detox. They don't understand health. They don't understand skinny. Even your friends where you know the truth, but you're skinny and you're working through your health issues, how do you explain that to your friends? Sometimes you don't. And sometimes you don't keep the same friends. So this gig is about you, man.